Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to A Rose in the Twilight. A Rose in the Twilight is a 2D adventure game following the adventure of a girl in a vague journey as she adventures with a mysterious statue. Staring controls. So this game is essentially a spiritual sequel to Hotaru Niki. I have a playthrough of that on my channel. I kind of think of these games a bit like Heart of Darkness. J or L? Or left click. Makes sense. Camera movement, or C plus mouse, which is a little bit easier. Oh, that's our first F. Oh boy. So yeah, definitely don't want to die from falling. And that's where the Heart of Darkness part comes in. If you've ever played that adventure game. Hmm. This looks like it's a safe drop. Ow. I'm so sorry. A boulder blocks the path. It won't budge. Are these flying rocks? I guess so. Here we go. Foreign power, you found a note about the cursed forms. Check the collection screen for details. Wheel click, absorb blood. Blood for the blood god. Bun bun. Some kind of warrior. Was well, someone really rocked his world? With absorbing blood, you obtain the memory obtains. So right there, you kind of see like it's the night. This is where they died. Transfer blood power. So I can reabsorb the blood. You can kind of tell if the rose in my back. Change target with the mouse scrolls. Makes sense. We should actually go back for the blood. Nope, it, it cleared out from the other screen anyway. Uh, a little too high. Catch that just as it gets a little bit lower. Right there. Certainly an interesting power. Should I stand on this as it goes down? Regeneration power. Those who are cursed by the forns will not be forsaken by the shining bud. When their bodies decay, they will be brought back to a life below the bud. That's basically just a respawn point. Well, we're about to discover it. No, I'm alive. 
thankfully. How to repeat life and death. Hold tab, hold to retry. So if I get stuck, I, I can quite literally kill myself and be reborn. Oh wow, that animation actually is pretty long. If I die a lot, that's gonna get really annoying real fast. Hmm. Comes a bar the blood. No. I think I I think it's because I have blood on me already. I can only absorb one blood. So that's a bit of a conundrum. Let's put the blood in there. And let's absorb some blood. So we have to kind of do that, I suppose. Not. I think this will work. But there is an area to the left. Like, is that a secret? Can we get it to, like, go over there that way? Then. Well, we can head over here first anyway. Now I have to kind of pull something tricky here and then pull the blood. This descends right about here because our jump is pathetic. Seems like a death trap, if there ever was one. Let's go down. Deeper. Deeper into the spooky dungeon. Those spiders anywhere. Table? It's got blood on it. It's kind of random, isn't it? There's blood there, too. Where am I going? Hi. You're the, uh, the mascot of the game. Awaken my masters. Dang. I think it's made of blood. Can you help me? No, it goes into a ball. It's kind of interesting. Hop, hop. I can lift and throw things. Click middle, cl we'll click to throw again. Display arc range. Yes, I'm amazing. I'm a rock. Let us go. going on a journey, and you're going to look adorable while we're doing it. The giant's all about picking up and throwing things. And Rose is about essentially 
doing weird time stop puzzles. They're, they're blood related, but they're essentially a time stop puzzle. Here, you stay here. I gotta get this. I'll be back. Because right now we don't got a leg to stand on. But now we got four. Or since they're playing a Ghibli movie with a lot more blood. Hmm. Can I pick that up? No. I mean, that's an exploit, but I'll take it. Should remember that for next time I have a puzzle of some kind. Okay. I need to do something, girl. I gotta throw you over the thing. Go! It's like the blood from the stones. Okay. So that's a semi bridge. Got dropped so our friend can get over here. Okay. Let's go. I'm gonna try not to get you killed. So please bear with me. Go! Alright, absorb the blood. This was a tricky one to get. I did some really roundabout stuff. Sure, little bunny in the bomb right as when gets burned alive. Okay. And that one is not quite easy to get. If they're all difficult like that and require backtracking, we're in for a hell of a trip. Let's go. Going down all the way on there. Rose, go get it. Suck its blood. Pop that down there and let's get going. Go, Rose. Can't do anything because we get some blood, which we have right here. Hop over there. Go over there for now. Uh, I couldn't end up getting you stuck. The best bet is to take this back. Go on to the other side. I 
Wait till it drops again. Wait till it goes back up. Just enough. The giant can traverse foreign paths without getting hers. But traveling across with rows in hand seems like a bad idea. So I'm gonna throw you across. You're okay, you're good. Checkpoint. Seems normal enough. Oh no! <sighs> Thought you died. Okay. Drop that for a moment. Well, that's good. Now we got that lodged in. Blunt in that. Uh, uh. So the thorns are very deadly. Do not underestimate them. Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's get you out of here safely first. Maybe I can reangle this. No. Oh God. So perhaps I need to pick this up somehow and Then suck the red out of you just as it right about there. Like that. Okay. Next zone. Dungeon 6. Whoa! Wee! That was almost bad. Goodbye. This is not a good idea. It's a terrible idea. I thought there may be secrets up here or something. Now I can't get down. And apparently this doesn't count as an, uh, a thing to trigger it, so... Catch me, giant! Wow, you actually can catch her. That's amazing. Okay. Fly! Ah, I have blood. Why do I have blood? Damn. Giant, you're gonna have to make a major catch on me. Nope, sorry. I'm so sorry. Fast clicking trigger finger. Ow. I get creative. Wait, no! Somehow I didn't fix my clever plan all the way through. And overnight.
That one looks like me. Oh, what a wonderful world, Mr. Bun Bun. Never mind, it's terrible. How's this memory belong to a random night then? Hmm. I'm gonna jump and you're gonna have to catch me. Thank you. Now let's go. Whoa, we. Mm, there is something up there. Whoops! Almost, almost would turn out to be really bad. You go up here. One moment, please. I'm gonna take this table with us. Oh my god, you died! How awful. Drop this right here. Eh, it works. Pick you up. Up. Checkpoint. We're gonna need some blood. And we're gonna need that key. You look like there's faces in the background that are crying. Weird. Gonna jump. Okay, take the table. Now what? Actually, we can just have you drop down and the giant can hopefully catch you. Catch me, giant! No! <laughs> Let's do this a safe way. Somewhat. Now hopefully I can jump on this without getting too hurt. Okay, let's go. Excuse me while I... But you know, we don't need to pick up the key, it just automatically goes into inventory. Good. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Blood crystal. Nearby blood memory locations will pop up on the map by absorbing the blood of the crystal. Well, I have blood in my inventory right now. I need to get rid of it. Okay. So of the blood. Location of blood memory in dungeon has appeared on the map.
Oh, we can actually, um, I just realized we can actually warp zone between areas. That's interesting. So we've acquired all the blood memories so far. So essentially, if you're missing things and collectibles, you can go back and get them before ending the level and getting kind of stuck at a point of no return. That's a very interesting uh, thing they've got there. Welcome to the clock tower. Hmm? What's the point of the clock tower then? It was just one zone. A foreign seal. A foreign that seals the door. Offering blood may remove the seal, but... Interesting. I don't really have blood. Will you stay here, statue? I don't think you can climb ladders, can you? Can you climb layers? No. Offer blood. Oh no. This is gonna hurt. And then Rose regenerates anyway. That's kind of... Very awkward existence. How do you know if it's even the original Rose and you're not just copying the memories? So we have an existential crisis like that. Let's go. Auditorium. They're always kind of a thematic theme. But Taraniki had it also. Welcome to your kingdom. Do you not want to be king? No! Thank you, Studio Ghibli, Golem. I wonder if we are some kind of royalty of this weird blood palace. 
because we'll find out as we dig up more deepest lore. Castle gate, huh? Drawbridge to the castle gate, the bridge is up, but you can't get across at this rate. Absorb the memories. Let's see, they go to the gate. Like, hey, that's a nice gate. Drawbridge is sure up. Oh boy. Yep, no one lower than this drawbridge. Like, oh hey, here's the switch. Let's lower the drawbridge by moving the switch. I too will move the switch. Nice, nice. And the bridge goes down. Lever to draw the bridge is located beyond the courtyard and armory. Go for the door at auditorium to get to the courtyard and armory. Go for the door in the auditorium? Sounds kind of confusing. Oh, here we go. Warp zone. Courtyard entrance. Armory entrance. So there's two switches. Each one has a switch we need. Courtyard. Execution room. Do we have to... Wow. This is gonna become a norm. I'm so sorry, Rose. So sorry. This possessed more than five blood memories. Oh, it's got some of a Metroidvania angle now. Interesting. We can't go to the courtyard yet. So, armory it is. Let's they execute this puzzle. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Boy, they're really drawing this out. That was... It cannot be an enjoyable experience. Well, let's go. Welcome to the armory. 